playing in my headphones? Am I using the right thing? Okay. Can you guys hear the music? Can you hear me? I'm not late, you're late. <laughs> Hi, Basil! Hi, boys! Hello! Hello, hello. Did I wake up early only to fall back asleep and then wake up in the afternoon and then rush to add the redeems I wanted to do and then started stream 17 minutes late? Maybe. Don't worry about it. <laughs> How is everybody today? Do, 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 do. Are you guys talking about Persona? Hi, Ella. Hi, Mary. I don't know if you guys are still here, but hello. Hi, Shiki. Do, 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 do. Thank you for the guest barista, Basil. Do, 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 do. Hello, Nita. And hello, Mel. My internet's kind of crap right now. Give me a moment. Oh, no. Please, take your time. Oops. Okay. I don't know why alerts weren't working before. I'm going to test some now. Let me know if you guys can hear the things. Is that one, is that one good? That one good? Cause I heard it for sure. <laughs> Toffee stole farts. I politely asked for farts to be handed over and got permission for farts. <laughs> that one was loud. Oopie doopie. It's all right. Don't get flustered. Thank you for the catchy basil. Okay, so that one's loud. Am I just gonna like adjust my stuff live on stream? Sure, why not? I get you, I get you, I get you, get right? The brain rot came back. And it's twice as strong, so I'm like, I gotta, I gotta add my boy. I have to, or I'll die. So I did it, to prevent death. Let's see. Okay, so reverb fart too loud. Uh, da 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 Going into my extensions to look at that right now. Oh, that was a dancing game audio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can hear at the end, like, the doo 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 <laughs> Yeah, I found that one while browsing for stuff, and I was like... And so I did. I, I did the thing. Can I look at my, my sound alerts, please? I always forget how to open it. I opened it like literally 10 minutes ago. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna lower the fart. I will lower the volume of the fart. Okay. Okay, so if I brought it down to this level. Did you guys hear that? I did a test on here. Does it sound better? The same? I brought it down to Volume is good? Okay. 70% fart power. Got it. Good, good. Good to know. Well, since I'm late, 
Uh, should we just get right into the game? Start with your four. That sounds good to me. Oh wait, I gotta do Basil's uh, thingamab thingamablobber. Hold on. We gotta get the guest barista. Let me just, uh... <laughs> forgot for Jackbox, we put Moffy over there. Big Moffy. Big. Moffy's still in Halloween mode. She's not letting it go. I'm, I'm telling her it's it's Thanksgiving time. It's almost Christmas time, and she says no, no. Halloween. Let's see. Who is this? Is this a Persona man? Who this? I don't know who he is, but he looks qualified. He's wearing a suit and everything. PS... P, P5S? Persona 5 Special. Persona 5 Stardom. Persona 5 Super Duper Gay. Persona. It's Persona 5 something. <laughs> I already forgot his name was Zinkechi? Zinkichi? Zendaya? Zinmichi? I already forgot his name. What's his name? It starts with a Z. Zinkichi. Zinkichi. I misspelled his name. I put Zinkechi because I'm thinking about a catchy. Zen, Zenkichi is Michi. Got it. Perf Persona 5S. What is Persona 5S? Zenkichi, Zin my not a baby baby boy. He's my favorite Persona character. He actually usurps Yusuke? Super gay is close enough. Strikers. Oh, right. Since we're doing Strikers, Sophia. Okay, hold on. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Hold on. If you can send me a picture, pause, that'd be super duper helpful. If not, I'll just look for it after I'm done with uh, Zinmichi over here. Zinmichi is Kokichi. <laughs> and Danny DeVito is, is Yusuke. <laughs> Oh my gosh, could you imagine Danny DeVito playing Yusuke? Okay, let's see. Our guy here is a little slender, so maybe we'll make it like kind of thin-ish. See, he has, he has good shoulders for the job. But like... He's kind of at an angle. Sure, I'll just pretend this makes sense. I see Basil's excited. Is Sophia, who's Sophia? See, I only know like base Persona 5, like Persona 5 Royal. I wanna watch the tactics stuff and I wanna watch striker stuff. Button? Button for the boy. Who is this man? He looks like a like a CEO of of something. Is he a nice man? Is he not a nice man? What kind of person is he? I'm like I I want to know. <laughs> Just hey. Hey, he looks pretty good. Ah, shit, I ruined it. I fucked it up. I soiled it. Soiled it. I did it again. Squ nope, squish. Squish. And then, and then, and then, and then, and, and, and. I'm fine. It's okay. 
Please, sir, put your hat on. Please, sir. He's being mean to me. Okay, I think that's good. Yeah, aw oh, shit, what kind of, what cup does he want? I forgot to offer cups. Oh, they're all over the place. Aw, oh, shit. Aw. Oh. Aw, oh, fard. Aw. Oh. There we go. What cup does he want? <laughs> I did already have a PNG of Sophia in my future guest barista folder because I love her so much. Sent two different Sophia images, so whichever one you want to use. Ooh, options. I like options. Thank you. He is unfortunately a cop, but he gets a free pass because he's Zenkichi. I'm like that with a lot of detective characters. Like, like a Kechi, Shuichi, Dick Gumshoe. They all get free, free passes because they're cool and they're nice and fictional. <laughs> he's fighting corrupt cops, so like, oh, I see. Oh shit, uh. <laughs> Gay rights? Hell yeah. Gay rights. Oh, he he's he's gonna he's gonna hold the mug with his bare hands because because he's he's wild. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. there we go. Look at this madman. He has to like support his hand because like, the cup's so heavy. It's a big cup. Thank you, Basil. Okay, and the next one's for pause. Yes. Let me just uh, put Mafia up to protect your personal information on Discord. The PTs call him Gramps and he shares a VA with Bunger. Bunger? Bunger, my man. Twilight was released 15 years ago today. I'm old. I'm not, but I, uh, oh, that makes me feel old. Dojima as well? Oh my gosh, 15 years ago. I always forget how many middle-aged Persona men I like. <laughs> Coincidentally, Robert Pattinson just announced he's going to be a dad. Happy Twilight anniversary! Yo, Papa Edward, let's go. So proud of him. Oh! I see, I've seen pictures of this person. I like her hair. I like her hair. I want, I want this one. And her name's Sophia? I spelled Sophia wrong. Sophia, Sophia, Sophia. Yes. I can spell. Um, don't mean to brag, but I'm, I think I'm a very good speller. I only got it wrong twice before I finally got it right the third time. Sophia. Where'd she go? There she is. She's in the same pose as Silver Wolf. <laughs> Hold on, I'm just, I wanna show you guys this. Because I was looking at the guest baristas and like Silver Wolf and her are right next to each other. And they both have S. And I thought that was very cute. Like, look at, they're besties. <laughs> look at them, they're in the same pose. Ain't that cute? Anyway, Silver Wolf, today's not your day. Sorry, get out of here. I'm sorry, get out of here. Let's see, and Sophia kicking me in the face. Need to knock you down a few pegs, Missy. There you go. She's gonna sit on the counter. It's fine. <laughs> She's just gonna sit. <laughs> Let's see. I'm at work. Hi, hi, Virgil. Hello. Also, hi, T. Hello, hello. Sup at work. I'm Dad. <laughs> Twilight came out on the same day as Redacted Persona Five Day. What happens today? Is it is it something that would that would that would make me sad? I can't remember. All I know is that like all of winter, I'm just like, is today a day in Persona Five that 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 makes that makes me jumpy? She's a baby. She's sweet. She looks sweet. <laughs> Mary, swear I'm gonna slap you. Also, guess who accidentally laid on the floor and got comfortable enough that he closed his eyes when he knows he should start packing? Definitely not me. 
Me and T shaking hands because thank you, Mary, for Silver Wolf. <laughs> what if it is her time? Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, I'll bring her back. But yeah, me and T shaking hands because I also like woke up. I'm like, I woke up early, and I, I did a good, a good job at waking up early. I'm just gonna check my phone, and then I fell asleep again. <laughs> I'm back in the dream world again. Okay, so now since Silver Wolf is the third one, do I kind of just have them like, like kicking each other's leggies like this, <laughs> or do I have them back to back like they were before? Like, does, does that look better? They're just like sitting on the counter. They're both just chilling. Sophia's being being a little cheeky, like, oh, my hands in the game frame. <laughs> That's exactly the PNG I have. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's see. Floor time is something we all need from time to time. True. I love floor time. Let's see. I felt not dizzy enough to go to work. I got to ca ca cauterize some plastic. What is that? I hope it was fun. Oh, they're playing footsie. They're just chilling. <laughs> they're just, they're just chilling. They're just like, boop. I poke you with my foot. Like, I've been waking up early for the last few mornings despite not going to work, but my, that might be me going to sleep at ungodly hours because of the sickness. Oh no, I hope the sickness goes away soon. This is the one time we do not want to get down with the sickness. Did I make Silver Wolf look really small? I didn't mean to make her look too small. There we go, now... I want to make like their heads about the same size, so they look kind of like the same-ish. There we go. There we go. They're being they're being cute and silly. Okay, so uh, pause. You get first pick at the mugs. Which one would you like Sophia to have while I dress her up? I'm just gonna go over here, drag her down to where I'm. I'm gonna keep calling him Zenmichi. <laughs> I've been I've been I've been influenced by by Abby redeems. Okay, so Sophia, Silver Wolf. Let's get you an apron, Missy. I've got to burn it shut so I, f wait, I got to burn it shut so it fit around the book sleeve so it won't tear. Oh, I see. Yeah, I've never heard of that before, but it sounds fun. You used the chaos emote, so I assume it was, it was fun. Let's see. Hmm. Long. Like that? <laughs> sure, let's go with that. Button. Button. For Sophia. I've only known Sophia for like five minutes and I would commit, I would, I would commit the murder to make sure she's safe. The murder in Minecraft, as they say. I would, in Grand Theft Auto, in the video games in general, she must be protected. Here's your hat. She applied to work at Wendy's and they're like, we already have a redheaded mascot with braids, sorry. So I'm, I'm letting her work here because they were mean to her at Wendy's. Toffee rules? Hell yeah, she gets toffee rules. And that means Silver Wolf gets cannibalism, which honestly, I, I think she'd be, she, she'd be down with that mug. Maybe not the act of cannibalism, but like down with having the mug at least. There we go. <laughs> the game might be a little obstructed by the muck. <laughs> but uh, I think that should be okay. I don't think anything too important happens down there in the game. Except for maybe dialogue. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, oopie doopie. It's okay. I usually read everything out loud anyway. So it should be fine. 
Been feeling better the last couple days though. My throat doesn't feel like I choked down 30, you know, other than a small cough. But other than that, I'm feeling good. Well, that's good. Tea recovering, nature is healing. Also, if you want to know how baby Sophia is, I'm pretty sure she's shorter than Futaba. She's so small. Have you ever seen the hee ho scene from Strikers? I've I've heard the hee ho, and I wasn't sure if that was from like the base game or another game, but I, I know everyone going hee ho, hee ho, hee ho, hee ho, like like everyone just doing the hee ho, and I thought it was the cutest thing ever. So if you mean that, then I have. And I mistook it for being in the original game because I wasn't able to watch the full playthrough that Abby did. But yeah. I think uh, Matt Mercer as Yusuke does the best hee-ho. It just, it sounds very pleasant on the ears. Shout out to Matt Mercer. Let's see, where's the hat? Okay. Goodness, it's a mess. Let me just put the cup where I want her to hold it. Just She's just gonna hold it up like this. She's gonna hold it up on one fingy. <laughs> Cause I think that's funny. She just holds it up like this. May I share the hee-ho scene? Yes. I would not mind seeing it again. <laughs> hee-ho. 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 Ho, 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 he, 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 he. I forgot what I did for Silver Wolf last time. Did I cover up her goggles? Or did I put it like above her goggles? I don't think I knew how to like squish and stretch stuff back then. I can kind of squish it so it's, oh, it's like right above her goggles. That's cute, I'm doing that. No idea what I did last time, but that's what I'm doing this time. E, thank you, boss. Let me see. Okay, I'm just gonna put on an apron for Silver Wolf, and once I'm done dressing her up, then we can watch that. And then I'll start the game. I know they're probably not here, but like, thank you to, to Bear Claw for teaching me how to squish and stretch items in OBS, because I did not know how to do that. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. It makes this so much better. I love dress up. There we go. Also, right after that scene, if you go to Yusuke and talk to him, he yells, hee ho! And it's so funny. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's he's not over it. He's still doing it. That's my boy. All right. So those are our baristas. Great job, everyone. I am very happy with these. We have Persona Man that I don't know, but I am... I've been ensured that he's a good man. We have Persona Girl that I love despite only knowing her for two minutes. And we have Silver Wolf, who is also a small... Well, I was going to say sweet baby, but she's not sweet nor baby. She's small. She's a little gremlin, and I love her. Love the gremlin. All right. So we're just going to open this. Risky to churn. Yeah, whoops. Did I? What? No! No, not see you. Risky to charge in now. Let's see. Yeah, okay. I, I've seen this before. I didn't even notice she was here. I just assumed this was from the base game. I didn't question who this was. All right. So I'm gonna turn off the music, and we're gonna watch a a silly old scene from Persona. If I have to cut it out later in the vod, so be it. But I don't think that should be a problem. I only have that problem when I get shown like songs or anime. So, uh, yee. Risky to charge in now. Let's head back to reality and see what we can do. <laughs> Say it. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Yay. Yeehaw. Oh. Yeehaw. <laughs> Come on, on, join right. in. Good bit. Now it's time to go. Makoto, please. Okay! 
<laughs> I need to hear that part again though, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot Ryuji went like yeehaw. I just notice he does a little like, aww. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's amazing. Thank you, Paws. Oh my gosh. Max went on eight in Strikers, it's not even funny. <laughs> also, Sophia has the most in, in con, an inconspicuous codename of all time, Sophie. <laughs> No one's gonna know that Sophie is actually Sophie. We're geniuses. The fucking gold bar scene, Ale. I love that he recorded all of his lines in a closet. Did he? <laughs> Wait, that's so good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yo, if you guys wanna send me more scenes later and stuff, like, I don't plan on playing it. I wanna watch like a playthrough of it eventually. But like, I just, I just want to watch the stuff. Yeah, it was right at the start of the pandemic. Oh my gosh. And they still like got everything done. It's amazing. Yes, this game was recorded from home and Max's setup was in his closet. Amazing. Iconic. What are you talking about? What the hecky? I played this game with controller before. You heathen, what the frickle frack are you talking about? There we go. It's pink. It's working. I need to find the gold bar scene and send it to you. It's so good. Yes, please. The Persona 5 brain rot has come back and I, I need more. And I forgot there was like two other games that I could get like content from. I have the, what is it? I'm gonna watch the like Tactica stuff on YouTube. And I have the DLC one already in my watch later. <laughs> People who have seen both. Do I, do I need to know anything about the main story to enjoy the DLC story? Like I wanna watch it first cause I'm impatient because, because Akechi and Yoshizawa, but like, if I have to watch the first one first, I will. But like, I really want to watch the DLC one. <laughs> Send to E, thank you, Pasta. Persona 5 Strikers is so good, it's the perfect sequel. Yay, the farming resumes, heck yeah. Which one? Which one? It's the goat, right? Oh, yo, are we buying a goat today? Guys, I think we might be buying a goat today. DLC is a prequel to the main game, good. <laughs> So I'll watch the DLC first. Cause uh your girl your girl's got a favorite and you know who the favorite is. I'm sorry, Yusuke. <gasps> Celia <laughs> For those who may not have been here last time, uh we're in year four now. Oh! I had a wonderful time at the New Year's festival. Everyone kept telling me how impressed they were by you and your cooking. They loved my dessert. I supplied dessert this year. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sophia <laughs> hides the dialogue like a tiny bit, but it's okay. I can fill in the blanks. <laughs> Little things like that make me so proud to be your wife. Stop. <laughs> and by stop, I mean don't stop. Thank you. I'm very, very happy to be your wife. Oh, I have an ad starting about three minutes. I apologize in advance. I have them set up to disable pre-rolls. But yeah, anyone who wasn't here last time, it's year four. Lil Toffee and Celia both be getting the gray hairs. And we have a teenage Poffy. Look at her cute little side ponytail. I'm gonna read her diary. <laughs> I'm a great mom. Deep Sea Life, How the Body Works, a comic, trend setting, and then her diary. <laughs> Thank you, Basil. Yo, deep sea life? It's just a bunch of fish stuff. The differences between male and female bodies are depicted in a comic form. Educational! She's learning about puberty. 
There are plentiful descriptions and example photos of current popular trends in the city. Ooh, she wants to be a city girl, oh no. You found Poffy's diary. Read it. I'm the best mom. Toffee, no! I want to learn more about fishies. I don't think it said any fun facts. It just said names of fishies. No! What do you mean, no? What do you mean? <laughs> what if I read it and then reload the save so we're in an alternate universe where old Toffee didn't read it? Would that make you feel better? I'm, I'm going to read it. <laughs> What's more important to Mama Toffee, me or the farm? I'm sure it's the farm. All she thinks about is work. No, it's not true. I I gave you multiple of your own episodes in the series. Everything's about Buffy. <laughs> yes, Basil. <laughs> That's so sad. All she thinks about is work, work, work. No, I just, I work to get her the teddy bear. She doesn't understand. I'm saving up for the teddy bear, for you. It's for you. I'm saving. Not saving, I'm loading. Read journal. This one. Okay, just for Basil. This is an alternate reality. Where little Toffee didn't read the diary. <laughs> Hello, Abby. Multiple Abbies. Talk to my wife. Talk to her about the New Year's festival and how we're so happy to be married to each other. I'll even make this alternate universe even better by giving her a flower, because I forgot to do that last time. A flower for, for my wife. And then I will not bother Poffy. I'll take a shit too to make it even better. It's the perfect timeline. I didn't read my daughter's diary. I gave a flower to my wife. I took a morning shit. The perfect timeline. She hates us, Poffy, I mean. No! She's just going to... <laughs> Thank you for the fart, Basil. <laughs> perfect. The perfect timeline. Hello, Cupcake. Where's my cat? Licorice, are you gonna... Are you gonna eat Cupcake's food? She ate a little bit, but she didn't eat the whole thing. Good cat. Good kibby. Everyone say hi to Licorice. Good morning, Licorice. Fart so strong it opened the door to Celia. <laughs> Just like, psh, there goes the door. The door is gone. Oh, remember? Remember when Poffy was just a little baby and we took her to the beach with the pail and the shovel? You guys remember that? Oh, hold on. I'm going to feed you in like two seconds. There you go. Goodness Gracious. No eggies for me today? No eggy? No eggy. Damn. Hmm. I want to get new music. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 Oh, shit. I have to feed so many animals. Hold on, give me a minute. Hold on. I got the foods. I wasted a little bit of time because I was time traveling. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Hold on! There you go. I might do it again, depending on if I fuck something else up in the future. It could happen. Excuse me. Thank you. <laughs> Who is that? What did we name that one? Bowl? Is that the cow's name? Bowl? Oh, ooh, we need more food. Like, soon. I forgot. What is your name? Bowl. I still can't remember why we named you Bowl. Hello? Oh, yeah, Bazilla's pregnant. Everyone's happy. Oh, my gosh. Look at everybody. My babies. My babies. Oh, 
babies. I'm shocked Riss isn't pregnant again. <laughs> About that. <laughs> uh, when was it? Oh, did I not do it yet? I was gonna make Riss pregnant again as soon as possible, but the game wouldn't let me yet. I thought I already did it. I'm gonna do it. It's gonna happen. Fresh tea. The baby. Babies. So many. Okay, let's give this one a haircut. Who is this, Abby? Abby. I know my aminals. Okay, and we'll milk the cows. Um, you, you're, you're sleeping. And you're a baby. And you're a bull. Okay, now you're not sleeping. Good. Good, good, good. Is it raining? It sounds like it's raining. It is raining. Toffee! Good morning! Morning, Mama Toffee. I was born on a farm, so it's real easy for me to make friends with all kinds of animals. Yes, see? She's happy. She's happy that we taught her about aminals and stuff. She does not resent me one bit. In this timeline, I would not know that she thinks that I care more about the farm than her because I didn't read her diary. This is a good timeline because we have a healthy relationship because I don't know about the resentment. She also wants to compete with me for best rancher. <laughs> but a little competition can be healthy. Do you want an egg in these, in these trying times? You're giving that to me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> these options are so mean. Nah, I just thought you'd like to see it. Egg. Here's raw egg. She still likes her eggs a little runny. <laughs> Yay for blissfully unaware little toffee, <laughs> right? See, this this timeline is best. It's it's best for little toffee that she doesn't know. Look at her little wrinkles. She got little little wrinkles under her eyes and near her mouth. Little smile wrinkles. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Can I order a pregnancy yet for Riss? Oh, I already did it. I already did it. Riss is not pregnant yet, but I ordered the breeding. That's why I remember doing it. And the aha ha. So Riss is not pregnant yet, but I did mean to get Riss pregnant. There we go. So yeah, Riss pregnancy part 64 soon. Coming to a theater near you. That'd be an awful movie. <laughs> Just pregnancy, the movie. There has to be a movie about that. Wasn't there a movie called like Baby Mama or something? It was just about like this lady is a surrogate for her friend and that was the whole movie. Did I make that up? Or is that a real thing? I feel like that's a real thing. Ooh. Make butter. <laughs> Call me for part 69. <laughs> Man, it still trips me up hearing you say you ordered a pregnancy for Riz. <laughs> Hi, Bear Claw. <laughs> oh my gosh. Blank will be bred soon sounds so threatening. <laughs> Max pregnancy. <laughs> it's like the zombie apocalypse, but with pregnancy. If they bite you, you become pregnant. <laughs> the pregnancy apocalypse. The apregapocalypse. There's a word in there somewhere. There was a movie with Empreg. Was there? The first thing I thought of was the Fairly Odd Parents movie, but that wasn't a movie. That was just a special. According to Google, that's a real thing. Wait, biting someone and then getting pregnant? 
or the pregnancy apocalypse or or the or the movie i described i've said a lot of things in the past minute <laughs> hi hi ash I was talking about you earlier because I was putting the little aprons on the baristas and I was like, I'm so glad that Ash taught me how to like, like stretch like PNGs and stuff because it makes dressing them up so much easier. <laughs> the baby mama movie. Got it. Not inducing pregnancy through bites. Okay. Yeah. Looking back on it, I probably should have been able to deduce that's what you meant. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> I have no excuses. Eee. Yes, thank you for helping. There's a movie with Mpreg starring Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito. Which one of them gets prego? <laughs> Would that be work like Venom but sperm? I guess? Maybe? Question mark? I don't know. That's a good question. Either way. Oh, I gotta put this mushroom curry in the did i get this from ruby or did i make this i think i got it from ruby that makes more sense okay so i'm gonna just I'm put this into fridge arnie if i recall correctly ellen knows what i'm talking about <laughs> i've never heard of that movie it's funny i was mentioning danny devito earlier but not being pregnant or getting someone pregnant or being in a movie about male pregnancy I think it was about him being Yusuke in a Persona movie, for whatever reason. Oh no, I was doing the Zendaya's Michi, but it was Persona related, and I got to dating DeVito, and I just blurted out Yusuke. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Lurk gonna have you keep me company while I clean a room? Yes! Clean that room, Ash! Thank you for Lurk. I am happy to accompany you while chores. Especially since... You and Sparrow have accompanied me through me doing chores multiple times. It just so happens on days I want to clean, you guys are streaming in the morning. I'm like, yes! Good! Yes! I instinctively just came over here to the dig site. I don't even know if this is where I want to be today. I think I wanted to, like, make hybrid plants for more recipes. I guess I could do this first. <laughs> Let's see. Had to Google it because I thought you were all high, but no, Junior is a real movie. Junior? Is that what it's called? I just remember Juno exists. I was like, what movie is all about? There's no movies about pregnancy and that's it. Juno. Juno. It's right there. <laughs> Mentioned this in some Discord where Mpreg was such a basic overused joke and a lot of the things that it, it desensitized a lot of people to the concept of Mpreg. Mpreg in shows and movies for comedy was consistent as beach episodes in anime. True. I think I saw someone talking about that. I don't know if it was like a post or like someone in a Discord. It could have been. It could have been you. I don't know. But yeah. It's weird because like when I was watching Fairly Odd Parents as a kid and Cosmo got pregnant, I didn't think of it as like funny. I was just like, he prego. They're going to have a baby. There's going to be a baby. This is going to change the whole dynamic of the show. <laughs> I was like, are they keeping the baby after the special? Is the baby going to get taken away? Because I was more concerned about the status quo in the show I was watching. <laughs> yeah, didn't you mention that in Abby's Discord one time? Yeah, I think so. so I, that sounds very familiar to me. Just like Mpreg as a concept in cartoons in general. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I don't remember where I say things. Neither do I. It's okay. <laughs> That is a-okay. Yeah, I just be saying stuff. Sometimes I'll post like one thing in like four different servers if I think it's like interesting or funny enough. So I get that. And then, then I will remember if it was like, oh, did I put that in Meow server? Did I put that in Mary server? Uh, I don't know. I'll try to remember like who plays Honkai Star Rail and then I'll just put like the post in everyone who I know plays it in their Discord server. <laughs> Hello, sis. Yo, it's Sparrow. Ash was here earlier. They said they was cleaning. Are you also cleaning? I talk in a lot of discords at the same time when I actually open discord. True, same. Oh my gosh. I... I did, uh... 
what was it? Last night, like late at night, I did some shipping charts and I posted them. I posted one of them in Abbey Corp in the in the persona section. And then I posted both of them in my Discord. And the other one was like a Honkai Star L one. Looking back on it, I probably could have put the Honkai one in Abby's too, because they have a Hoyoverse channel. But like I think some people were talking in there and I didn't want to like disturb them. So I was like, I'll wait till later. But uh yeah, it got me really pumped to do like the tier list stream that I was like talking about, where I just like do different tier lists and like take suggestions and stuff. And now I'm just thinking of like when I could do that. And I'm like, I just did a Smasher Pass stream, but like would people want a tier list stream like so soon after that? Should I wait until later? I don't know. But like doing the shipping chart was like very fun because I'm just like, I like talking about ships and stuff. I like talking about characters and games and shows that I like. So I was just like looking forward to the tier list thing because like I'm going to be doing multiple character tier lists and I'm, I'm very excited about just talking about characters from stuff and things with people. Thank you for the likes, Sparrow! Working on the next Final Fantasy VII highlights vid. New one's gonna be up about a minute. Ooh, yes, let's go! You do it! Do the thing! Get the editing done! Hell yeah. Hee ho! <laughs> I keep thinking about the hee ho video. Thank you again, pause. Let's see. I wonder if Vestas will be open by the time I'm done digging. Because the dig site gets bigger and bigger every year. Like, they're constantly expanding it. It's becoming a problem. I mean, I get more stuff, but it takes longer. <gasps> Hi, Wazzy! Hello! Yo, how you doing today? Toffee, I first saw your Persona 5 shipping chart. I got so confused because I thought... The Joker Futabalon was red for a moment, but it was orange. Oh no. <laughs> no. No Joker Futaba. They they are siblings in my mind. The orange and the red is kind of similar. I, I was wondering if I should like if I should have like edited the colors. But uh I was like, ah, I'll just leave it. Those are the colors they picked. You digging holes in there? Yeah! I'm, I'm digging up treasures, and I get to keep the treasures if Carter doesn't want them. Which, most of the time, he doesn't. I'm saving up money to buy my teenage daughter a possessed teddy bear. She needs the demon teddy bear. It's very important. <laughs> bum ba da bum Yo, he do be squatting. I wonder if I'm going to be done before 5. Because he's going to kick me out at 5. He'll be like, that's enough, grandma. And I'll be like, hey, I'm not a grandma yet. I've only got like two, two wrinkles. Oh. No. One more. No, two more. I just realized I don't know that man's name. Carter. He's Carter. And that's Flora. I love Flora. She's great. Oh, she's leaving. Bye, Flora. She's like complimenting me at my dig site? No, not allowed. She just leaves. I guess she can't take compliments well. I'm sorry, Flora. I keep thinking about how she's marriageable in the DS version. And if I ever played the DS version, like, like now, I'd like, I'd try to get a gay mod for it. And I, I, I would marry her in a heartbeat. She's great. I do love Celia. Celia is like my favorite. But like the fact that you can't marry Flora makes me want to marry her more. It reminds me of steal their stuff. <laughs> Am I, is this technically stealing? It could be. I'm like, hey, you want this? And he's like, nope. It doesn't appear to be anything of, I'm, oh, I always stumble over this word. Archae archaeological significance archaeologist archaeolo archaeological I did it <laughs> but yeah he's like he's just like nah take that coin I don't want it and I'm like cool so it's technically not stealing but like it could also be stealing if you wanted it to be stealing 
Hey, Toffee! Oh, shit! Hi! Takakura left a note in the living room if you want to take a look. Yeah, yeah, let's see what it says. Oh, no, is it about the, hey, let's watch the cow's mate go outside? Okay, they didn't do a cutscene for it this time. Remember the first time we had animal breeding and then he was like, all right, come into the barn. These two were gonna bone. And then he kicked me out of the barn so they could bone. And then he said, okay, come back in. Okay, it's done. And I'm like, why did I have to be here? This could have been an email. Now he sends me a letter. <laughs> this is literally what I wanted. Like this, is... he did the thing that I asked for. It's like, yeah, I just, I'll make, I'll send you a letter next time. So you don't have to be around for it. Takakura probably still watch though. It's strictly business. It's not weird. Yay. Congratulations. Riss is gonna get pregnant. Again. Let's go check on Riss. Well, this one's technically Christmas. Are you Christmas? Are you Pregante? Are you Pregananananand? How tell if sheep is Gregant? Poffy, have you been standing here the whole day? Poffy? Why are you angry? Look, she's angry. Poffy! She's being angsty. She's like, I'm just gonna stand in the rain and mope. Cause I'm a teenager and that's what I do. She is so upset. <laughs> Poffy, what's wrong? Oh my gosh. I don't think he's creepy about it. It's still a little odd. Pregananananananant? Pregananant? Poffy. Mm. <laughs> exactly. Oh my gosh. Hey, Mama Toffee. Do you get all teary eyed at the thought of me getting married? Yes? It's okay. It's not gonna happen for a long time. Oh, she's still young. She's like, I'm, I'm not particularly looking. She's crossing. Why is she so angry? Look at her! Puffy! Look at her. She's like a little rebel, like the little like delinquent stance like Oh Oh, she's leaving. Okay, bye! You gonna go inside? Make yourself some she just like pushes past Takakura. That's not how you treat your grunkle. Oh my gosh. It's it's day two of teenage Puffy. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Oh, Takakura's... Okay, he's leaving. What are you doing out in the rain? Why does no one in this town own an umbrella? Girls mad you're not upset about her getting married. Was I supposed to say, like, no, no get married. You will not get married for until college. And then and then she's like, oh, my mom really does care. Is that... Was it, like, reverse psychology? Damn. My bad mom... <laughs> what a dreary day. I wonder how long the rain's gonna last. I wonder when I'm gonna unlock an umbrella. This ain't Animal Crossing. Oh shit, I forgot to buy seeds. Hold on. Macaron! We can still make it! Macaron! Vesta! Vesta! Sorry, I'm like going, I'm trampling all over your plants. I'm so sorry. Seeds. No, I just, I want to buy something. Yes! Okay. Okay. I'm gonna cheat. <laughs> I'm cheating. You can't stop me. I'm looking up the rare combinations for the seeds and whatnot. I'm not gonna do this process of elimination stuff. I'm looking up a guide. I'm just, I'm just being, I'm being open and honest about it. I'm on my phone looking up a guide. <laughs> Basil. <gasps> just like, okay. Wonderful life. Rare. Hybrid. Is that it? The rare hybrid crops? How dare you! <laughs> Nita and Basil judging me. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta... Not those, no, not those. 
The rare hybrid, yeah. The rare hybrids, yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, these get confusing. Holy shit. Holy moly. You know what I might do is I'll save that for next stream. I'm not in a rush. <laughs> That's a lot of, I might just make a list. Yeah, uh, I dramatically came out here in the rain right before closing only to not buy anything. That's a long list. I'll just look up, hi Kate. I'll look up which stuff I need for what recipes because I just want to make all the food. I'm not big on farming, you guys know that. I just, I want to make all of the foods. So sorry, Macaron. So sorry, animals. There we go, everyone gets to go back inside. This emote, wait, this emote looks like this because the bear's pants are on fire. <laughs> oh my gosh. Liar, liar, bear on fire. <laughs> Ooh. Is tomorrow Van Day? You think after four chapters I would know which day Van shows up? Yes! Guys! We're getting a goat! We're getting a goat! Puffy, we're getting a goat! I do like animals, but it might be a pain to work with them all the time. I mean, I mean, I'll, I'll still be here to help until I, I die in chapter six. What? I mean... Good night. Love you. <laughs> she doesn't need to know I die in chapter six. Sorry for the spoilers. We've talked about this multiple times. It's fine. Why do I have two of these? What is this one for? Oh wait, you aren't lying. The drink is pumpkin. <laughs> pumpkin! Yo. I'm not big on pumpkin, but every now and again, I'll have a pumpkin thing, like a pumpkin muffin. What? Don't die! <laughs> Did you not know, Ash? Well, Toffee's getting old. Hold on, let me, um, excuse me, sorry. We getting old. She get a little wrinkly? This is chapter four, so we have, well, this is the start of chapter four, so we have three more chapters until, until we gotta say goodbye to a little farmer Toffee. But until then, but like, illegal. If it makes you feel better, we get to play as her in the heaven chapter, but I think that's when I'm going to like, stop the series after the ending. But uh, yeah. We still have plenty of time with little Toffee. I still got lots to do in life. See, she said so herself. Gonna keep on keeping on one day at a time. Aw, she's so positive. Heaven chapter, all right. <laughs> heaven chapter, yes. <laughs> at least in the GameCube version, it's literally called heaven, which is kind of fucked, but <laughs> like your your ultimate heaven is just like you being to be, but, 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 but when you got to, you could, to, you could do anything. <laughs> The, okay. <laughs> Your I accidentally unlocked a cutscene. <laughs> While just like, just messing around the house. Um, but yeah, in the original, it's pretty much like your character's idea of heaven is just everything being the same and like them being on their farm with their spouse and their kid and like, it's very wholesome and nice. And now we have a cutscene. It looks like Poffy's angy. <laughs> Angsty p teenage Poffy. Aww, right, isn't that sweet? No! Exclamation point. What's wrong? You've always helped before. Well, I don't want to anymore. Huh? But why? This is all so sudden, honey. Have you been watching too much TV? That's a bad influence, you know. <laughs> Celia, no, don't turn into one of those moms. TV bad, mom. Celia, please. 
Why won't you listen? I just don't want to. I don't like helping anymore. Oh, she's she's getting fussy because she's getting old. She wants to do her own thing. She doesn't want to help us do our things anymore. What is this about? Preparing dinner? Doing the dishes? If it's about doing the dishes, I kind of understand. I don't like doing dishes either. But it's always nice to be helpful, Poffy. I imagine Celia's back might be getting bad. You need to help her out. Oh no, do I need to... I mean, the sink looks clear. I don't know what we're talking about. Is it cooking? Is it helping out with dinner? There's a, there's a, like a little ladle in that pot. <laughs> oh, honey bun. Poffy is... What's Poffy? Poffy is what? What's wrong, Poffy? Poffy? Poffy! <laughs> Her little smile. <laughs> I just noticed, like, a little Toffee smile, like... <laughs> like... Poffy just, like, storms out of the kitchen, slams the door, and she's just like... <laughs> it's so funny. Did I say something wrong? I must have. It's the only reason I can't think... I can... Let me try it again. It's the only reason I can think of that make her act that way. I don't know what happened. I just walked in here. I have no context, though. Huh? You think she's just being rebellious? Yes, I've been saying that, like, this whole episode. She's being angsty, because she's a teenager, and that's what teenagers do. They're all dramatic, because they're teens. You know, just teen things. A rebellious phase. I have to admit, I'm a little surprised. Me too! She was such, like, a sunshiny child. I guess this means she's taking her first steps into adulthood. Nod. Oh, little Toffee, you have such a way with words. I'd be perfectly content to live here in Forget-Me-Not Valley for the rest of my life. I bet you feel the same, right? I bet you feel the same, right, honey bun? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So, like, what was this? What was she? Was it cleaning up after dinner? I mean, I guess they wouldn't, like, remodel the kitchen just for that cutscene. But it's funny to think that, like, Celia and Poffy did dishes together, and then after all the dishes were done, then Poffy was like, I don't want to help anymore. I'm so sick of helping after I already helped with no problem. Where did you go? Just to your room? Where did you go? Poffy? Poffy? Did she leave the house? Poffy! It's raining! You ding dong? Where did she go? Thank you for the cannibalism, Wazzy! Oh my gosh, where did she go? Is she off to commit cannibalism? If she is, I'm very proud. Oh! She has stormed off somewhere in the village and now she's coming back. Yeah, it's cold and dark and rainy out here. You have anything to say for yourself, young lady? I think the animals like me best. Don't you agree? Again. <laughs> she ran away. Thank you for the reverb fart tea. I keep forgetting we have the fart. <laughs> she storms out of the house. It completely brushes me off when I enter the kitchen. Leaves the house. Into the rain. Comes back home. And the first thing she says to me is, I think the animals like me best. <laughs> This girl, excuse you, Poppy. <laughs> yeah, gassy. Say excuse me after you fart, Poppy. Oh my gosh. And now she's all sunshiny and happy again. I'm interested in working on the farm, but she's conflicted because she's been reading those magazines about like trend setting in the city. And she's like, I want to be a city girl. But also, she wants to work on the farm because she loves the animals. And she probably, deep down under all of her teenage angst, loves her family. And it's just like, what do I do? Do I stay here and follow in my mother's footsteps? But what if my mom doesn't love me? What if she loves the farm more than me? I just want to go to the city and run away from it all. I'm so sick of doing chores. Everything sucks. But then she's like, oh, but I love animals and I love my family. And blah, 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 blah. Licorice? Licorice. I'm doing an impression of Poppy. Okay, well, now she's sleeping. <laughs> Goodness. 
My daughter's being angsty. My cat's being angsty. Ridiculous. <laughs> she just sitting down. <laughs> Some things never change, I suppose. Was that a sneeze? Bless you? Did you sneeze? She doesn't want to be in the same room as me. She's angry. Well, at least little Toffee's happy. She's just, she's still smiling. Well, I guess I'll save it. <laughs> but your dream is to run the farm. <laughs> it's not your dream. <laughs> it's not my dream. It's your dream of a Toffee. <laughs> Fucking high school musical. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's not my dream, Dad. It's your dream. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what if I've been wrong this whole time? What if she really just wants to be like, like a scholar or something? She wants to like be a scientist. And I've completely misjudged everything. I'm pending that by the way. <laughs> Fucking high school musical reference. Was that high school musical? Or was that a different Disney Channel original movie? As much as I love Disney Channel original movies, Half of them have the same plot, so I could have been mixing that up with something else. Oh my gosh, I'm fucking dead. Did I save? I did, just now. Yes, I did, okay. Yo, we're getting a goat tomorrow. We're getting, aww. Gallon and Nina. You wanna grow old together like Alan and Nina? We can be little grandmas together. And then one of us can die in chapter two and we can make Basil very upset. <laughs> I'm sorry, Basil. I know it's a trope in several movies. I'm not sure if it's said in High School Musical. I think it is because like Troy's dad's like, you wanted to always do best. I'm sorry, Basil. <laughs> You were the first person that came to mind when I thought about what happened to Nina. Cause I remember you were like, wait, what? And I was like, yeah. But like, I'm pretty sure Troy Bolton's dad in High School Musical was like, you've always wanted to do basketball, it was your dream. He's like, no dad, it's your dream, not mine. I wanna dance. Well, he didn't say it like that, but like he, he pretty much meant like, I wanna sing and dance with Gabriella because I love her. Cause we did karaoke that one time. And she's different. She's not like Sharpay. Even though Sharpay's pretty cool, but Gabrielle is better because she's like down to earth and she's modest and she's smart and her brain is beautiful, but so is, so is her voice and she's she's so shy, but when she gets up on stage, she lights up the room and like all that stuff that wasn't actually in the movie, but like it, it was all like implied. And then like, I want to dance. <laughs> no, dad, I'm giving up your dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was it. Need to rewatch all the high school musicals. Okay. As much as I love High School Musical, I've never seen the third one. And I feel like I have to at some point in my life. Because like, a part of me feels incomplete. Cause I'm like, oh yeah, I love High School Musical. I love High School Musical 2 even better. And then people go like, oh yeah, what'd you think of High School Musical 3? Cause eventually when you talk about High School Musical, people always ask how you felt about 3. Cause that ended the whole thing. And then they had like the series, the High School Musical, the movie, the series, the musical or whatever. It's on Disney Plus, I didn't watch it, but People are like, oh, how'd you feel about Mr. High School Musical 3? And I'm like, I, I, I never watched it. And they're like, what do you mean you never watched it? And I'm like, ah, you know? You do? Yeah, I see. <laughs> I do have to watch it. I want to see how it would like go, like where it would go on the High School Musical tier list. Just the other day, I think it was like one or two days ago. It was like two days ago. Oh. I have an ad starting about three minutes. I apologize in advance. I have those uh, set up to disable pre-rolls. But uh, I was talking with my sister about all of the Shrek movies. Cause she's like, which movie is the one where Shrek becomes a human? It's like in two. It's like, and which one's the one where he like goes back in time and stuff. And like, he has to like, he lives in a world where he didn't exist. Isn't that the same one where he turns human? I'm like, no, humans in two, the time travel alternate universe is in four. And she's like, Really? And I'm like, yeah. It's like, what happens in three? And I'm like, they have to find uh, the King Arthur because Shrek doesn't want to be the king of far, far away because Fiona's dad died. And that's the one that brings the kids at the beginning. And Fiona's like, I'm pregnant. And Shrek's like, what? And then like, they, they find King Arthur and stuff. And then they also have that moment with the princesses and they're all being super badass and shit. And she's like, oh, 
huh? And I'm like, I know more about Shrek than I thought I did. And she's like, yeah, you know more about Shrek than I thought you did too. And I'm like, I'm proud of myself. And she's like, that's nice. <laughs> that's not exactly how the conversation went. But like, that was like the gist of the conversation is that I was just giving my sister a whole review on Shrek. And then I was like, which one's your favorite and why is it Shrek 2? And then I started going on a whole spiel onto why Shrek 2 was like a perfect sequel. And I always do this. <laughs> time travel? It's not really time travel. It's more like, it's more like an alternate universe where Shrek didn't exist. But in a weird way, it's kind of like time travel. I guess it's universe hopping. So maybe it's not time travel. I guess it's an alternate universe. We're jumping different dimensions. Shrek becomes a dad in the third one. Yes. Yes, that is correct. I didn't watch past three because the baby getting sick in one of the uh, uh, Shrek 3 trailers. That is fair. Yeah. I didn't watch past two. I didn't watch three. Yeah, that is fair. Yeah, the babies don't show up until like the very end. But like, yeah. I could do without the babies. I don't really care about them. I'm gonna be honest. Multiverse before the multiverse takeover. Apparently, they're making a Shrek 5. No idea what it's about. I'm scared. I like, I, I love Shrek. Shrek good. But like, when when does it end? When does it stop? What, what is it going to be about? Where can we go from here? Babies go to college? Like, I don't understand. Like, like medieval college. I don't, I don't know. Is it going to be like an extremely goofy movie situation? Actually, I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> Extremely goofy movie, but it's Shrek. And Shrek has to go to college with his triplet babies. But they're not babies, they're adults now. Ogre college. <laughs> wait, wait, that's actually good. DreamWorks, hire me. <laughs> wait, that's really funny. I'd watch that. I, I lied. I would watch that. Oh, there's so many ways we could, we, there's so many different directions we can go. It went from, what would even happen in Shrek 5, they can't do anything else with the series, to literally the possibilities are endless. They made Chicken Run 2, and apparently releases in December on Netflix. What's Chicken Run? I feel like I should know what that is, but I don't. Crazy enough, the Puss in Boots sequel was really good, and I think it vaguely, it vaguely sets up uh, the fifth Shrek, really? I've never seen any of the Puss in Boots movies, but people like kept raving about the set, like the latest one. They said it was super good. So now I have to feel, I feel like I have to go back and watch all the Puss in Boots movies. Because people were going nuts over the like latest one, saying it was like, mwah, spectacular. And apparently there's like this super cool like Grim Reaper character that everyone goes nuts over. And I'm like, is this a new Tumblr sexy man? I don't know. I know nothing. All I know is that people are going nuts. Sorry, Celia. <laughs> I'm just imagining little Toffee is going like off about like the Shrek series. And then Celia's just waiting to say like, hi, honey bun. <laughs> How are you this morning? And she's like, oh yeah, I'm good. I just, I really love Shrek. <laughs> Sorry, Celia. I just, I really, I, I feel, I, I'm very passionate about the Shrek series. I didn't realize I was until like two days ago. Like, I knew I was a fan, but, like, I didn't know how much information I had until I went on that whole spiel to my sister. Is is the word pronounced spiel or spiel? Seal? Spiel, like the Pokemon? Is it spiel? Spiel, like the Pokemon. Is the Pokemon spiel or spiel? Spiel. Spiel? That's the Pokemon. Is that the word I'm thinking of too? My egg. Hmm. Every time I harvest eggs in this game, I think about Fable 2. Because in Fable 2, when you wanna, there's like a side quest where you can join like the ultimate evil society and like, you have to eat, like, uh, uh, just a warning for, uh, for bad things happening to cute animals. Um, you have to eat a baby chick to get in. 
Like, you just have to eat a baby chick, like, raw. And it's, it's, it's a little disturbing. You don't actually have, you don't see it. It just, like, goes away from your inventory. And I'm just like, that's kind of fucked. Um, but yeah, I just think about Fable 2. It's optional. You don't have to do that in Fable 2. It's just the thing that you can do. And I'm like, why is that a thing you can do? I played this as a kid and I was like, huh. And then I just kept playing. Boo! Hi, Pi! Hello! How are you today? I am adjusting to raising a teenage daughter. She ran away from home last night because she didn't want to do the dishes. At least that's what I assume happened. I got no context for the whole argument. She was, she was just arguing with my wife about how she doesn't want to help out anymore. And, and then I was like, I think she's just being rebellious. And my wife was like, huh, surprising, but okay. And then we talked about Shrek for like 10 minutes. And by we, I mean I did. <laughs> Chicken Run is a stop motion movie. I think the creator of Wallace and Gromit helped make it. Oh, okay. That sounds vaguely familiar. How are you, lovely? I'm good. I'm good. I hope you're well as well. Me brain dead rating science shit, so not girl boss brain cells evaporating. Oh no. I hope you're able to to write uh, quickly and efficiently, so that way you can be done with the thing. Because writing papers is, from what I remember, very boring. <laughs> I forgot to order fodder. I'm a fool. Hold on, I'll order the fodder, and then I'll take care of all the aminals. Good morning, Poffy. Do you want an egg? Would you like an egg in these trying times? <laughs> Am I gonna say that every time I give her an egg? Probably. Yes, it is your egg, your raw egg to do whatever you want with. You can make it into, into a yummy scrambled egg. You can paint it and then leave it behind a tree and forget about it for a few days and then throw it away. You can do whatever you want with that egg. Let's see, Basil's right? Okay. Yeah, it sounds vaguely familiar. A stop motion chicken movie, like that looks like Wallace and Gromit. Uh, let's see, they don't sing, wait, don't they sing wannabe in it at some point? That's, uh, that's Chicken Little. <laughs> You're thinking of Chicken Little and I love that movie. People sleep on Chicken Little, and Chicken Little is actually a very, very, very good movie. Like, it, like if I had like a Disney like top 20, it'd be in the top 20 probably. I have to make like an official like, I think I did do a Disney movie tier list, but they didn't have every Disney movie on there. That would take like forever. But yeah, like Chicken Little would be like an A tier for me. Like I love Chicken Little. Let's see. I mean, topic is interesting uh, to draft for a paper due in two months. Uh, why do drafts? Uh, let's see. Uh, why the draft so early? No motivation. Wait, so they make you do the draft and you have to submit the draft and then you have to do the rest later? I never did draft papers. I always just kind of like did one paper and then like just edited it. <laughs> you mixed them up. It's okay. <laughs> I've never seen Chicken Run, but I love Chicken Little. Chicken Little good. I know I watched Chicken Run as a kid, but I remember precisely zero percent of it. <laughs> I think I saw like commercials on like, I don't know if they ever played that on Disney Channel or like ABC Family or whatever, but I saw a commercial. I've seen pictures of it. Okay, but Chicken Little's dad makes me mad. Yes, I want to kick him in the nuggets. Yeah, he sucks. Chicken Little's dad sucks. I was talking about like uh, a couple nights ago when my sister was over, we were watching Home Alone. And I was talking about like how much like the mom from Home Alone like sucks, but then like in the last half of the movie, she's suddenly supposed to be like the best mom ever. And I'm like, she's at the same time the best mom and the worst mom. And then my sister's boyfriend was like, nah, nah, she just sucks. She's the worst. <laughs> and we were just talking about like fictional parents after that. But yeah, in conclusion, Chicken Little Dad sucks. He's awful. Don't like him. Let's see, I remember Chicken Run vaguely. I I think opening scene is Chimkins hanging from by the feedies from a machine. No, not the Chimkins. Oh yeah, I forgot about Chicken Little's dad. He makes Renju look like a get good dad. Who's Renju? Who's Renju? Is that Shinji's dad? I don't know Shinji's dad's name. I just know Shinji dad bad. What's the name of Shinji's dad from Evangelion? <laughs> I never watched that either. 
But I know he sucks. <laughs> Renju from I the Somnium Files. Oh, okay. Whose dad is that? Is that spoilers? I don't remember. I only saw the second game in that series. So I'm probably uh missing a few plot points. So the draft is technically the whole paper. Honestly, I don't care for drafts. I don't care what the grader has to say. I'll just write whatever I want regardless. Yes! Yes, Pi. See, drafts? Like, I don't feel like you need a draft. Like, I feel like you could just write a thing and then just like fix it as you go along or like fix it at the end. Like, that's how I write my fanfics. Is I kind of just write it and then as I go, I'm like, wait, actually, no, I would change this. And then I read, read it and then I'm like, okay. And then I finish more of it and then I'd read over the whole thing again. And then after I like make all of my like little like tweaks and like edits, then I put it through like a grammar and like typo program. And then I'm like, okay, just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. And then like I fix any typos or like grammatical errors I may have made. And then I'm like, boom, that's the chapter. I've been thinking about writing a lot recently because I haven't updated my fanfic in months and it's like slowly gnawing at me. And uh, I actually got a comment the other day that was like, I don't mean to be impolite, but I was just curious, do you plan on finishing this? Because I actually really, really like this fanfic. And I'm like, that's completely valid. Uh, I do plan on finishing it. I just need to find the time and I need to find like, like, uh, cause like the brain rot has been elsewhere. Like, my brain rot has been, like, Honkai Star Rail, Persona 5, like, all over there. And I'm like, I want to finish my fanfic, but I haven't had, like, the motivation to do that. But lately, I've been feeling, like, Danganronpa, like, slowly, like, crawling around. And, like, it's been crawling around my room, but it hasn't, like, touched me yet, you know? I don't know if that's a good metaphor. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's like a little, a little bunny, like hopping around my room and I see the bunny and I'm like, wow, that's a bunny. But like the bunny hasn't walked up to me for me to pet it yet. Once I pet the bunny, then I can, why am I holding an egg? Then <laughs> I can write the fanfic because once I touch the bunny, that's like the brain rot, like coming back to me, if that makes sense. Let's see, why am I, that's why I'm making a glorified plan rather than a draft. Yes, yes, planning notes, good for any type of writing. Mizuki's dad, that's all I'm gonna, oh, yeah. No, I, I understand now. <laughs> yes, that guy sucks. I, I have enough info to know that guy sucks. Did I already brush you? I can't, I didn't, I have not kept track of who I brushed. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna clip. Who is this? Who is this? I'm not, I just wanted to check what your name was. Why are you getting angry at me? New Year's, New Year's. It's my baby. Let's see. I have this big fanfic comments be like, please finish. And I'm like, sorry, I can give it to someone. Uh, I can give it to someone to finish. Uh, but it, all the auditions I received were shit, so just release the plot notes and let the world take it. No time to finish it. See, that's valid. If you feel like you're never going to get around to it, then that's totally valid. If, like, if you're comfortable with other people, like, taking over where you left off. See, I have a vision. I have the notes, and I feel like I will have the brain rot and motivation to do it again one day. But that day might not be today. And I'm just like, I, I will finish this. I want to finish this. It's, it's my creation, my baby. I have a certain way I portray the characters that I feel like, like I have to finish this fanfic myself. But like, totally valid. Like I understand what you mean. Cause I, I've heard of people doing that before. Riss, I'm talking about fan fiction. Riss is in a great mood. Aw, well I can't be mad at you now. Duh, come here. I think Riss was pushing me because uh, they wanted attention. Yes? Yeah. Yeah, you just wanted to moo at me. That's valid. Good cow. Um, did I, did I milk everybody? I think I did? I feel like I did. And I sheared the sheep. Okay. Cool. Cool, I did the thing. Da 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 da. da Takakura! Wait! 
Hey kid, how's it going? I'm good. <laughs> Excuse me. Cows don't give milk all the time, you know. If they're about to give birth, you can't milk them. After they give birth, though, they'll give you more milk than usual for a little while. Keep that in mind as you raise your cows. Thank you. I can't tell if I want Takakura to sound like Sojiro or Eeyore. <laughs> I don't have the vocal cords to do either, so I just, I do my best and I'm like, he's Eeyore today, he's Sojiro today, I don't know. He's, he's one of those. I'll try to help. Who's your favorite Danganronpa character from each game? <gasps> Basil! Talking about Danganronpa? Hell yeah, thank you. Minor hero? Ooh. Very good. The spoiler character I think I told you before. I remember you saying this, but I can't remember who the character was. Um... <laughs> uh... Can you give me a hint? <laughs> Cause I forgot. I'm so sorry. My my brain. It's not small, but it's it's very uh floaty. It forgets. Let's see. Hero, hero, good. Uh, spoiler character and Kaito. If we're counting Ultra Despair Girls, then Toko because she's the only one I know. And fuck Haiji. Fuck Haiji. Fuck. I hate Haiji. Shaking hands. Haiji sucks. But, uh, Kaito good. Like, amazing. I love, I love himbos. They're great. My issue is I have too many things ongoing. Doing my master's lab assistant art comps. and writing my own fic too on the side when I can. I like to overwork myself. Oh no! I hope, I hope you're able to, like, do all the things you want to without stressing yourself out too much. I believe in you, Pi. You can do all of the things. Give, give hug to Pi. Reminder that we have we have a hug command. We have I have a we have a hug command. We have a cookie command. Is stream stuttering for anyone else or is it just dorm Wi-Fi? What? Oh no! Hey! Stop that! Stop that! This is I'm not I'm not talking to chat. This not chat. The 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 little my, I have a little drop frames thingy. Stop it. What I might do is I'll take a BRB. Because I do want to get like... Because this is almost done, so I want to get like actual water. So maybe by the time I'm back from the BRB, it'll stop. Because every now and again, my internet will dip for no reason. But it's much better than it was before. So, uh... Yeah, I will take a BRB. And, uh... Yeah. I will, I will do that. So, be right back. 